So we're here at Rise of the Resistance at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I want to start by having you guys explain the roles you have here on this amazing attraction. Hi, hey, so Greg Johnson with Walt Disney Imagineering, and I led our show technical team for the integration, development, installation of all of our show technical scopes. So lighting, animatronics, audio projection, lasers, all, all that cool stuff. Uh, Danny Felty, Walt Disney World Parks and Resorts Design and Engineering. Um, so I basically did uh, pretty much anything to do with what makes the ride run. Um, all of the control boxes, any of the power, anything like that. The ride runs, we wired it. How would you guys explain what this attraction is to someone watching at home? I would describe it as an epic cinematic Star Wars experience. You're, you're basically walking into a Star Wars film. Nothing like we've ever done before. There's there's no typical just, oh, it's a queue and a ride and you get off. It's it's a total immersive experience from beginning to end. When it comes to the challenges, when you, when you look at a ride like this, it's multiple different systems all working together. What's it like? bringing that all together cohesively. Well, again, it's, it's, it's story first for us, right? So our, our goal is how do we combine all those things to tell the story we want to tell in a, in a seamless way so the guests aren't really paying attention to the, the, the fact that that's an animatronic or that's a projection. We, we really hope it just blends together so they don't really really see the difference about it. And, and from the ride side, I think Danny can tell you that there's a lot combined there as well. Yeah, so this attraction has over four ride systems all combined together to try to make one seamless experience. We don't want you to know that you're going from a lift to the second floor to the drop. That's something we don't want you to know. So it's, it's one seamless experience and it's, we really rely heavily on the show. So show and ride integration here is something like we had to team up like nothing ever before. Um, we became one great big happy family working very tight knit. Um, it's, it's the first time show and ride has been such a seamless immersive experience. What role in general has the evolution of technology played in allowing your guys' imaginations to bring things like this into reality? I'd say one of the biggest things for me right off the bat is just in the design phase, the, our use of, of 3D modeling and, and VR as a way to conceptualize the interaction before we even, you know, the first shovel hit the dirt out in the field was probably one of the biggest things. Um, we, were, we were in, you know, a warehouse somewhere in the middle of nowhere, you know, testing out different things with VR goggles long before construction started. and. It's pretty amazing going back. We, we actually just went and looked at it the other day, some of our original previews of everything, and it's pretty incredible how close what we built is to what we imagined at the very beginning. Um, especially from the ride side, we had to basically invent some of our own technology to kind of make some of these things happen. Um, and we did very similar things. We were in the in warehouses testing out equipment that um, hasn't been vetted before just to bring that experience to life and see that. And same, same experience, like some of these seamless things that we've been testing for, for years off site, we finally come and see and, it, and it's exactly what we imagined. It's great. When it comes to uh, the interactive elements, uh, the, the Play Disney app is out there now and you can interact with over 100 different points ac across the uh, galaxy's edge, but specifically you can also interact here with you guys. What are your guys' thoughts about that element of interactivity and what it opens up for guests? I think what's awesome about that is it, it weaves Star Wars Rise of the Resistance into the greater fabric that is, that is Galaxy's Edge. Um, so our guests, as they, as they come from the other elements of the land where they are playing with the parks, uh, the parks play app, where they're playing with those games, when they enter our queue and they're in, the, in the, the temple that the rebels have kind of taken over as their base, the story continues in there with that same app. So it, it kind of creates this cohesive experience all the way throughout the land so it doesn't feel like this is just a one-off over on the side here. It's, it's part of the greater, the greater picture that is Galaxy's Edge. Can you um, give us a sense of uh, what it's like to have to build something like this, but also then have it become part of Star Wars canon in a bigger universe. In incredible. <laughs> it's hard to describe. Yeah. Yeah. I, I usually we got a little speeches and flabbergasted because we're, we're such big fans of Star Wars and we're, we're we're theme park nerds, we're Star Wars nerds, and and we can't wait for the films to come out just as much as everyone else does. So to see like the the official Star Wars websites and blogs and whatnot posting about our attraction to see the the actors from the film coming in riding our attraction it, it's unreal it's it's nothing we could have ever imagined characters from the attraction becoming canon i mean that's that's unreal